Why do I have my chandelier on my head? Something odd has happened. In today's video, I am going to share with you seven ways to get rid of negative energy and get the positive good energy. Hello everyone, my name is Lina Kola. I work for an organization called YouTube. And on this channel, I speak on psychosocial issues affecting humanity, as well as I motivate and inspire to help you along your journey. If these are things that you love, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. You can support this channel by joining my channel memberships. I have three membership levels, Team Amazing, Team Awesome, and Team Magnificent. Click join to view the perks. And if you find any of them suitable for you, you can go ahead and join to support the channel. Thank you so much. Negativity will limit your potential to become something great, someone awesome, and it will prevent you from living a full life, a happy life. And so the things that you think, then you become, you've heard that term. So uh, it is best to divert our thoughts when the negativity comes, because in fact, we are living in a not so positive world. So once you divert your negativity into positivity, then your life will slowly turn around. I can tell you I was once there. My thoughts were all negative and it, 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 it prevents growth in your life. So, you know, be careful of those thoughts. Negativity has a tangible effect on our health, guys. And let me tell you, those people who decide to cultivate a negative energy and negative uh, thoughts, uh, they experience more stress, more sickness, more opportunities over the course of their lives than those who choose to live positively. It is important to take responsibility for your thoughts and notice when you are thinking uh, negative to switch it with positive thoughts and the positive feelings will come. People who consistently um, have the, the negative thinking handicap themselves with a victim mindset and this will prevent you from moving forward and from progressing in life. It will prevent you from having valuable friendships um, when you constantly think negative, especially about the people that uh, surround you. Um, this will stop your growth. No matter how brilliant you are, no matter how smart you are, this will put a, a damp in your life really bad. Number two, change negative energy into positive action. Negative thoughts and energy can be overwhelming to navigate. Negativity is usually accompanied by a freak out response. Um, so it's important to watch that. The next time you are having negative energy and thoughts, the best thing is when you feel overwhelmed is to walk away and take a break from the situation. This will make you feel recentered and puts you back in uh, the normal world that you need to be in. You know, I mentioned that this, this world is we tend to get more negative than we tend to get positive. And positivity is actually uh, a key, and some would say a secret, to getting forward in life, in moving ahead. Think uh, great thoughts about your coworkers, about your family, about your friends. Think great thoughts if you have the tendency to be negative. I love to write, and when the negative thoughts come, and it is best to write out about five or six solution um, as to how you are going to move forward um, with the negative thoughts. And writing is also a therapeutic, so this will assist you in a very big way. Remember, if you are facing problems um, that cannot be solved immediately, uh, taking time away or taking a break can really help you to feel emotionally charged. When you're emotionally charged, you have clarity of mind, 
um, your brain is free and you can think of ways to go ahead um, and solve the problems that you need to solve. Um, if you can't do it by yourself, then it's best to ask a trusted family or friend to help you. The third one is to surround yourself with positive friends. You know, it is said that if you show me your company and I tell you who you are, uh, many times the people that we surround ourselves with, if they are negative, we have a tendency to become more negative as well. So surround yourself with positive friends. I'm not saying to drop your friends if they're negative, but you will know to make the decision that will help to foster growth in your life, right? So maybe you can be an example um, of positivity for your negative friends. The long and short of it is, if our friend group is full of energy suckers, we will, and drama queens, we tend to emulate those kinds of behavior and become more like them. As opposed to when you surround yourself with positive people, um, you will be more positive, you will feel more healthy, you will make better decisions, you are able to um, be more productive and more progressive in life. Um, you know, some people are, you know, they're not, some people are not um, easily influenced by others and so if you can become that strong one then yes it is important to be the light in somebody else's life then the next important thing to do is to direct your thoughts away from negative energy we can be our best coach or we can be our best enemy uh, remember that the choices that we make come from within inspiration come from within Motivation will come from within and so once you channel your thoughts positively, you will get positive results. Change the wording of your thoughts and this will help you. Negativity goes hand in hand with selfishness and if you are selfish, um, you actually have no higher purpose in your life. If the whole purpose of your life is to serve yourself only, then you have a long road um, to change to positivity change will not come. You have to look outside of yourself and see others. No man is an island. No man stands alone. Each man's joy is joy to me and each man's grief is my own. So you must um, exude compassion, exude uh, energy that um, is sincere um, about giving others help. In order to get rid of a negative energy, it is important to look outside of yourself um, to help others. The next step is to laugh more, especially at yourself. Don't be too stiff and dry. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Becoming positive means taking life less seriously and let yourself off the hook. Yes. Laughter helps us to become more positive um, by lightening our mood and help us not to take life so seriously. Are you sensitive to like sarcasm? Do you have trouble laughing at jokes? Usually people who are more serious get offended by light jokes and sarcasm because their life is all work and no play. I am going to read something that grabbed my attention. Let me grab the phone. It says, if we can laugh more at ourselves and our mistakes, Life will become more of an experiment in finding out what makes us happy and finding happiness makes finding positivity a lot easier. And that is so true. When we laugh at ourselves, laugh at our mistakes, um, you know, we feel much lighter and life is much better for us. I am grateful for life. I'm grateful for family and I'm grateful that I'm on my way to recovery. And I'm also grateful for crystals that I can use to make my chandelier. Next step is we need to become more grateful. When we are grateful and appreciate all the things around us and the people around us, we have a better attitude and we have very little frustrations in our lives. When we spend time in being grateful and appreciate everything in our lives, from the small struggles to the car that gets us from point A to point B, 
we live a more fulfilling life. That's my chandelier. will shift our attitude from a lack of frustration to a, a, a life and, and a feeling of ease and this appreciation gets noticed by others and a positive harmony begins to form in our relationships so we must be grateful for all that we have in this moment in this day and in this age say okay i am grateful for my life i am successful i have all that i need and do not look at what you don't have also when we begin to um receive you know uh, more of what we are grateful for we open up ourselves to you know receiving instead of taking and so you know this will make your life you know more fulfilling you're not sure of how to be grateful look into your life this very moment and see what you have you have a family if you have a husband if you have a car if you have a job if you have internet some people don't have internet and they're closed off from the world if you're able to pay your bills and pay them on time you know these are things to be very grateful for so I'm grateful for my son he said he wants to be in the video and so I'm I am you know enjoying him at this moment he is an amazing human being <laughs> oh i want to have a good day i'm going to do an airplane now no not yet so i have two subscribers of the week and the first one is my wonderful husband roderick ritchie he, he said your videos always help others i learned from this the other subscriber of the week is paulette mcdonald and Paula, thank you so much for your support and for commenting under one of my videos. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my subscribers and returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I will appreciate your thoughts and your comments below this video. And if you are not yet connected to Lee Nicola's channel, go right ahead and hit the red subscribe button and click the notification bell to alert you every time I upload a new video. It is so good to have you here today. I am also grateful for you. And so remember to practice positivity. One, writing down your thoughts and uh, making sure that the friends you have and the people who surround you are able to influence your life in a positive way. Okay? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. to cope, bringing joy and hope, Lena Cola for battles won.